Hey guys, welcome back to another hot as hell day out in our hot as hell studio. It is Wednesday, August 11th, and it is 95 degrees out here. So, big news, Bungie has officially sent Halo Reach off for manufacturing. In Bungie speak, I guess that means the game went gold. But hopefully all the beta testing paid off, and I know it'll be a great game. But I know what you're thinking, if you didn't think ahead and pre-order, GameStop is offering the game for pre-order on their website, links in the description. And if you pre-order with GameStop, you actually get a little armor permutation added on. They offer the game at a base price of $59. The next edition up from that is the, the limited edition, which is $79, which comes with a bunch more armor that you can put on your character, as well as a copy of Dr. Halsey's journal, which is all about the birth of Spartans. And then, for the real hardcore gamers, is the legendary edition, which comes in a huge crate and basically that has um, a statue with the whole noble team hand carved and everything else that came with the other editions and also if you're loaded with money which some of us aren't you can get the uh, the Halo Reach Xbox 360 with two controllers that are basically embroidered with Halo Reach and uh, in the game of course so pick whichever one is right for you but you pretty much can't go wrong they all have Halo Reach last few days I've been pepping my ODST bodysuit um, but unfortunately it was slightly smaller than I would have liked it to have been and I spent about eight hours doing something that didn't needed to be done but why do on the best I had a lot of uh, rondoing to be done here's my Visor template that we're gonna vacuum form. The ODST chest. The left gauntlet. The right gauntlet. Shin number one. Little uh, thing that goes on the knee. Left shoulder. Right shoulder. And my helmet, which still isn't done, but uh, it just lacks the visor. And I think I want to put in little LED backlight, which I've seen in a couple other people's models and probably a fan for ventilation, because it does get pretty hot after a few minutes. So you'll see um, I added some uh, battle weathering effects, some scratches, it looks like he got mauled by an elite. <laughs> There's a great video tutorial on how to do this. Uh, Kazan73 put it together and it's in the description. Um, just click on the link and check it out. And he actually suggests using Mold Builder for uh, masking out the areas where you want battle damage. But if you can't find that, um, you can use uh, Elmer's Rubber Cement. You can find that Walmart for a couple bucks. It works pretty much the same way. It rubs right off when you want to get the scarring on. I'm happy with how it turned out and I just gotta get the visor on now. So yeah, we've just been uh, trucking along here. He's been working on his combat knife. Here's the sheath that he's working on right now. and the knife that he just kind of filled it up with resin and bondo and yeah it looks pretty sweet so far so that's right about where we are at this point for everyone else uh, out there making their armor in time for the launch good luck and uh see you next week